Like, it has to be like two hours. Or somewhere close to it. Anyway. Fuel is still good. Fuel is still being produced. Okay, we have radiation now. You know, it's nice having an entire stack of these iodine filters. Like, this should theoretically last me for the entire game, but we still have many more stacks left if we need it. I just realized I say that quite a bit. Like, this will last me the entire game, and it doesn't. But, you know, it's already so close to the end of this Let's Play, so I don't know. Okay, let's go with case geranium cells. Okay, we still need to power this up. Okay, so we'll do four of these. And then we'll put our splitters here. Alright, let's connect this up. I guess we could put the power lines over here. Connect it over there. parts per minute so we might actually need more assemblers well, I guess we can leave it for now okay, let's put some mergers here output in this direction Okay, finally got these things. We finally got encased uranium cells. Now we just need to turn them into... What's the next recipe? Yeah, we need to turn them into nuclear fuel rods, but in order to do that, we will need these electromagnetic control rods. So stators and AI things AI limiters so we already have these encased industrial beams here in this general area it's on the line over there we just need to put the control rods over there as well so it's time to head back but before I do that what I'm going to do is put these sheets here
and then we'll head back or you want to get some of these in case industrial beams we'll put I guess one more stack of this and some cables in here just one stack of cables just so we don't have to go back for it all right blade runners back on And before we go, I don't think I'm going to return here until we get those control rods and that's going to be a long, complicated building process. So what I'm going to do is build a couple more of those fuel generators. Alright, so we just need rubber. Maybe we can fit like four more in here or over there. Alright, got some rubber. Let's just grab it from the line. There we go. 200. Enough for four more of these fuel generators. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, we had we don't have enough motors anymore. Okay, so let's just connect these three then. There we go. Let's head back now. Okay, this is done. We now have encased nuclear fuel. Next up is the control rods. So that we can finally make some nuclear fuel rods. I'm really hoping when update 4 comes around, it's gonna have a lot of like things that make things go faster. Like the whole process of building this stuff. It's like very tedious. And although I am enjoying it, like it is just like a little too tedious, you know? It takes so long just to get something up and running. Now on top of that, I'm also hoping that they improve the combat a bit. But like you've seen the combat in this game. It's like there's like two enemies in this entire game. And like two enemies and then a bigger version of those two enemies. You know what I mean? It's like one melee, one ranged. And then other like hazards include gas and radiation. Those are the only threats in this game. I hope they improve like a lot more than that. Okay. All right, so Let's get some concrete and then let's head up to the fifth floor. Uh, concrete. I was thinking we don't need iron plates and iron rods. Do need some additional concrete. We'll leave one slot free just in case. All right, let's head up. 
You know, I could also improve the setup of this uh, initial area that I have. Like, I think in our next game, when we get to update 4, I'm gonna have... I'm just gonna rework this. Like, in the brand new game, I mean, like, we'll get our initial setup going and then I'll rework it once I got, like, something else going. I don't know if that made sense, but it made sense in my mind, so I'm just gonna stick with that. Anyway, we need to fill this area in. So if I remember correctly, the control rods requires AI limiters and staters. So that means we need to bring uh, the staters from the second floor up to this floor. Now the reason why I want to use the staters on the second floor is because it was originally used for like the project assembly stuff. If I remember correctly. And also the motors on the third floor. So I'm thinking, you know, we can like increase its production. We can overclock it and then just use that. Okay, we probably have to fill this in as well. Like at this point in time, I don't think I'm going to need anything on that fourth floor. Like there's just like empty space there, but I don't know. I don't really feel like building anything on that floor anymore. So like that's just purely project assembly stuff. So I believe that container just straight ahead contains the AI limiters. We should double check. And I already have the splitter in place. Yeah, these are the AI limiters. This has been producing the entire time. Wait, how much is our production? We produce 20 per minute. I mean, that should be good enough, I guess. So let's do the staters first. And I'm just going to fly down there. Down to the second floor. Four, three, two. Yeah, there's the staters. So I'm going to need an additional splitter here. Like, what is that used for? Yeah, project assembly, and then this line. What is that used for? It goes all the way over there. Oh yeah, it is for the motors. So let's just get rid of this and I'm going to put a splitter right here. And sure, why don't I just use MK5s there? These are MK3s. Oh, it's fine. How many staters do we make anyway? We have five per minute. So that's 20. And then, oh, I do have room to expand it even further. So I can add additional uh, assemblers before I start overclocking. I'm just going to fly up here. 
Okay, this is third floor. Fourth floor. And fifth floor. Oh, what's this? Well, you know what? Let's... Oh wow, it doesn't exactly reach. Just barely. Alright then. Let's do it this way. How are we supposed to do this? Oh, I can stand on top of the power pole. Okay. So, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I I have to make a decision. Let's bring it through here, I guess. I think we need to just push it up just a little bit more and we need to lift it up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Straight line. And then we need to move this pole. I think this is the third one. Okay, that should be good. Anyway. Put our Blade Runners back on. Okay, we can connect this now. One, two, three. Then we'll bring the staters all the way over here. to put splitter over here just for the purpose of making this look nice and we can just bring it like so and that should be fine except we have to bring it down So let's just get rid of this. Yeah, there we go. Then we'll just bring it up like so. Next is the assembler. We'll put this somewhere over here. 
Well, I guess we can line it up like so. There's two. There's three. And there's four. One, two, three, four. All right, bring this over here. And then we'll put down the splitters. It's one. It's two. It's three. And four. Okay, there's two, three. Oh, what? Oh, no. It's all slanted. There we go. All right, put the power here. Wait, is this powered on? Oh, I have to select the item here. Electromagnetic control... Electromagnetic control rods. Okay, so it takes six staters per minute. It takes four per minute. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So we do need to increase stator production. And these produces two electromagnetic control rods four per minute. So we're producing uh, 16 per minute. Now I do want to check this recipe real quick. This takes, let's see. This needs five electro magnetic control rods per one of these and it takes it produces 0.4 per minute so that's roughly or eight two and a half minutes to produce one of these things so in effect we don't really need that much production of this Hey, wait, one more thing before I go. Nuclear power plant. Okay, so I need high-speed connectors. I have that. I have cables. I have... I don't have supercomputers. I need five of them. I have that and I have that. Okay, so... As far as I can tell, we don't need to automate supercomputers. We'll just... So I'll just build this manually. And wait, control rods. Now, as for the control rods, um, 
can I like have a list of things that requires the control rods? All I know is it takes it's needed for the fuel here. You know what, just in case, you know what, let's just, or you know what, let's skip out on the storage. Like, that's what I was thinking. Like, should we add storage or not? I'm just going to say no. And then we'll just do this. We got four here. And then we're going to direct this downwards. I'm going to put the jetpack on. So, okay. I'll put the conveyor pole here, just for reference. How far away is it, anyway? Okay, so right here. Oh. Well, all right then. Get rid of this. This direction over here. So here's our control rods, then we just need to bring it down. Now the question is, is it going to reach? Put our jetpack on and find out. Oop. Oop. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, it's over here. Okay, new plan. Oh, sh. Okay, I need to go up here first without hitting the next floor up. There we go. So we need to bring it over here. Connect this over here.
Okay, how far does it go down? It doesn't go all the way. Alright. On to the hyper tubes over here. 